everybody's looking, wondering what's going on. Uh, you know, you, you have to realize one thing that it's easy to sit down or hit, take notes and hear the word of God. And sometimes some of our faith is faltered because we don't get to see God's miracles manifested in us. So we come to church and we take good notes and we hear good teaching, but you don't get to see the miracles and hear the testimonies because we go about our business. So God says, today, I want you to let them testify about me, about my goodness. And I thank God for everybody that stood because every age was represented. That's right. That's right. And, and not only age, but every storm and situation was yeah. represented mm -hmm. in that. And um, I just thank God for y'all for your obedience because you've helped somebody. Mm -hmm. You've helped somebody to do what? To trust God. Mm -hmm. yeah. Really, you have. If you help somebody to say, hey, you know what? Okay, God is able. That's right. And, and I know my flesh don't want to hear that. Amen. Because my flesh is selfish. Mm -hmm. Amen. My flesh is sleepy. Amen. And my flesh want to go home. Amen. And my flesh is saying, how long is pastor going to preach? Because he gave them all his time to get testimony. You understand where the battle comes in? That's right. That's right. That's right. This is my flesh. But, but, but God says, I, I, I allow this to happen to show you all, those that really want to know that God hears your prayer. He allowed you to hear every testimony of everybody. And it, and, it, and it relates to all of us in here. Amen. 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 So I'm going to thank y'all for your testimonies. And there is a word. Thank Amen. You. And and we, we're going to continue what we talked about last week. And and, 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 I, and I'm going to share this with you. We're in, we're in Galatians 6, 8 through 10. And you know what? God just brought that scripture to life. To life. Because we said, be not weary. Yes, sir. And we'll do it. And some of us are weary. Some of us we're weary about our situations, about standing, and God just used all these testimonies to do what? To encourage us, to let us know that guess what? It's worth it. I, I love every testimony, every last one of them. And, and I love how the brother said, uh, I was, but now I am. I am. <laughs> and and, and, I, and I, I got that. And, and that should help somebody. Even though you may be going through right now, he says, I was, but he said it was based upon his disobedience. Mm -hmm. And, and and now that he what God turned around. I was thinking of Minister Minister um, Lawrence Sung while he was while while the brother was testifying. Gotcha. You know, God turned. And I didn't want to sing it because I didn't want him to come and start singing it. But, but, but I love that song because that's what the testimonies were saying. God turning around. That's I'm right. calling on the Lord turning around. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So we're gonna go ahead and let's stand as we prepare to read the Word of God in the Book of Galatians. Um, chapter 6, verse 9. Mm -hmm. Galatians 6, verse 9. There he is. There he is. Amen. There he is. <laughs> we have moved beyond the testimonial part. Amen. 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 In, in the book of Galatians, chapter um, 6, let's, let's just do verse 9. Let's just do verse 9. Amen. Verse 9. And it says, And let us grow, and let us not grow weary while doing good. For in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. You may be seated Amen. in the presence of God. And we talked about this last week as we started the lesson, started the series on that there are, what, eternal rewards for doing good. Mm -hmm. And we just heard the testimonies of the saints. They says, he says, let us not grow weary in doing good. And all you heard today, what you heard this morning was a lot of people of God saying, I got tired, almost this, almost that. But they said, but God, I thank God. And that's what God is reminding us in the scripture in, 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 in Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. He says, and let us not grow weary while doing good. He says, for in due season, we shall reap if we don't lose heart. And we talked about last week that we talked about the suffering. And, and everybody gave their testimony. And we mentioned last week that suffering of any kind can be dangerous. Right. Can be a dangerous threat to our faith in God. And you heard it from the from the elementary, from the college to growing up. Suffering can be a dangerous threat. I, I listened to Brother Minister James when he talked about his, his baby. And he says that, man, because nobody wants to see their child suffer. Amen. I mean, it just does you a different. You know what I'm saying? It, you, no matter how high you are on the mountaintop, when your child is sick, when your child is not able to do things, you know, it, it causes you to, to pretend that, you know, you got to go through the motions. But 
God is letting you know something that, guess what? He says, not like what my brother said. God says, the same way that you are experiencing with your child, I'm experiencing that with you. I don't want like I don't want you to go through that stuff. I don't want you to suffer either. Mm -hmm. He said, it hurts me. And I like how brother, brother Jamal said he used to think that, that the God was a man in the sky, but now it's personal. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what God is telling us. When we have those times where we are growing weary for doing good, you have to realize that the God that you serve, the God that we serve, is not up there. That's right. Yeah. His spirit is in here. Mm -hmm. And so what he tells us, he says that in Galatians 6 and 9, we talked about that, that Paul points us past our labors mm -hmm. to the prize at the end. And it says those who persevere in what? Doing good are promised to do what? Reap rewards. And that's what the scripture is saying. And so we talked about last week, one of the reasons what, what helps us when we find ourselves going through that weary season mm -hmm. and y'all just made it plain. Y'all put it in real time, as they say. Because yeah. the first thing that we talked about last week when he says, what must we do when we when we begin to grow weary and, and doing good? It says, we should not stop gathering with the body of Christ. Christ. And my right. sister gave the scripture. Mm -hmm. Let's go there. Mm -hmm. Hebrews chapter 10, 23 and 25. I'm just saying, y'all already preached the message. Mm -hmm. Amen. So he says, so when we're growing, see, he says, we shouldn't stop gathering with our church. When we're going through the, the, the storms like for doing good. Now, I'm not just talking about doing anything. I'm talking about doing good. And we talked about, Paul says that when we, when, by doing good, that we're standing. When everybody else is doing what? Falling away. When everybody else is compromising, he says doing good. And when we do good, when we start standing on God, I'm going to tell you something. It takes some out of him. Right. I ain't going to mess with my sister today, but I thank God for her testimony the other day when she said that they want her to get into herself and go handle some people. Mm -hmm. But she had to do good by not Entertain it, cause see, there's a whole lot of people want you to do a whole lot of stuff, want you to respond a whole lot of ways. And Paul is reminding the church, you can't, we can't, as children of God, respond like the world is responding. I'm not gonna tell her testimony, but I thank her, thank God for her testimony, cause there's some people close to us that cheer us on to go do some stuff. Come on, come on. That's not according to God's will, and you have to make your mind. I have to make mind up. I'm not gonna do it. Let's stop being so simple and so easy. Yeah. See, the reason why the enemy is always attacking me on every hand, cause you're easy. Don't you know? Yeah. Don't you know, young people? Young women, young girls, the enemy love easy people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You don't put up no resistance. Mm -hmm. You're easy. And when you start doing it, they're going to pass the word that they're easy. Yeah. It don't take much. They're easy. And God is saying, I don't want easy believers at this time. Yeah. We don't need easy people in this season. We need some no-limit soldiers. Yeah. Come back, Amen. Trinette. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> We need some, we need some no limit soldiers. Someone is going that's not gonna be so easy. Wake him up. It's easy to do what? Fall asleep. Yeah, yeah. Easy to get comfortable. He wants somebody easy. Thank you, Amir. Easy. And he says, look, the, the, well, he said, let me tell you something. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. It's easy. He said, because let me tell you something. He says, the enemy is doing what? The enemy has gotten what? Has gotten us to the point where we can stay up. Yeah. All oh, what we want to do. When we come to the house of God, right. Satan don't even have to sing you no know, lullaby, mama. All they got to do is make it quiet. Yeah. And you just become yeah. easy. Mm -hmm. And you know what you are? You easy prey for the enemy. Mm -hmm. And so he tells us here, when it comes to standing for God and doing, being not weary, he says, look, don't forget the gathering. No. Of the saints. Mm -hmm. Hebrews 10, 23 and 25 says like this. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope, which y'all did. All y'all that gave testimony. You gave somebody hope. Mm -hmm. You let somebody, he says, without wavering, for he who promises faithful. Look what he says. And let us consider, come on, one another in order to do what? Stir up what? Love and good work. Don't you know the testimonies that, that this, this went past stirred somebody up to yeah. do what? Continue to push? Yeah. Yeah. Continue to encourage? Yeah. It says they started up the good work. It stirred them up to say, guess what? You know what? He went through that, and I can too. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. They went through that, and I can do. I, I thank God for my brother, amen, to share the testimony about what, what drug can do for That's you, right. can do That's to right. you That's when right. you become dependent upon mm -hmm. it. And if you don't stand, if you're not, if you're not a no, if you don't stand and say, look, I don't need that, I'd rather go through a, a little pain. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Of That's not right. getting this stuff than go through a lifelong of torment mm -hmm. 
because of a chemical abuse and, and dependency of us. Come on. I, I had to make a decision that guess what? I'm going to suffer just a little bit. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because if I continue to depend on that, guess what? It's going to be my God. Uh -huh. yes, he said, but in those times that I find myself way worrying and wavering and, and doing these things, he says, I can't allow my weariness to cause me to do what? Stop gathering with the saints. Uh -huh. yeah. Because I know now that I need the body of Christ in my time of Need. The brother said it first. The enemy was. Had him sleeping when he's supposed to be up. That's right. Mm -hmm. And up when he's supposed to be sleeping. Mm -hmm. My God. And that's what's happening within the body of Christ. We're sleeping. That's right. Yeah, that's when it. we're supposed to be up. Uh -huh. And we're up when we're supposed to be sleeping. Mm -hmm. And so he tells us that when these things happen, he says, I want you to come together, I want you to draw together, and I, know, I want y'all to encourage one another in the faith. Because he says in verse 24, and let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works. He says, now how do we do that, Raphael? He says, not forsaken. Mm -hmm. The assembly of ourselves, what? Yeah. Together. together. Now let me tell you something. Light and darkness don't dwell together. No. They have nothing in common. No, no. I, and I like what my sister said. How frivolous we use that word friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you something. A friend of yours ain't going to be texting you no curse words and no naked pictures. Come on. And telling you that they love you and all this other stuff. While yet still deceiving you to make you abandon who you are in Christ. That's right. Yeah. right That's now. right. Yeah. That's right. It's serious here. That's not your friend. That's right. A friend is not going to tell you, let's hang out today and let's skip class a little bit. A friend is not going to tell you, let's smoke this and drink this and it don't matter. A friend ain't going to tell you that. Hallelujah. Right. Come on, Thank, you, Lord. Come on, Thank you, Lord. A friend going to tell you what you are and what you can become in Christ Jesus. And I pray right now the Spirit of God is convicting you so strong that you fall on your knees and repent to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Because a friend of God will never allow you to sit up there and do things that's contrary to the word of God and the will of God. That is not your friend. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, you got to surround yourself around people. He says, forsaken. He says, as in the manner of some, he says in verse 25, but exhorting one another. And so much as we see the day approaching, a friend will tell you, let me tell you something. Don't take this. You, I, a friend will tell you, I understand, I understand, leave it like that. A friend's going to tell you, I know you're going through, but there's a but God. A but yeah. See, a friend ain't going to keep telling you, I know this, this. No, no, no. Not a friend. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. Not a friend. Come on. Come and God on. knows you need friends because guess what? We all want acceptance and recognition. God said, I've already accepted you in the beloved. But see, if I'm hanging with some people that don't know God, don't fear God, they're going to tell you everything else. You can get accepted if you wear this letter. You can get accepted if you wear this color. You can get accepted if you do this. You can get accepted if you do this. You can get accepted all this other stuff. God said, let me tell you, I've already accepted you. That's right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Already. He says, but, but but guess what? He says, our company matters. That's what he says. Yep. That's what he said in the first step. The reason why we must gather together, he says, because our company matters. You know the scripture. Bad company corrupts what? Yeah. Young people. He says, look, your bad company, the people that you want to be associated with that don't like your God, that don't care about your God, that send you all this stuff, let me tell you what they're doing. They're pulling you away That's right. mm -hmm. from who God called you to be. He says you got to surround yourself around those that have what? They're like-minded. Now, let me help somebody right now. See, the problem with us, we're looking for friends from the outside. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Come Say on it. now. Say Say it. Say it. We're we, we trying to find some friends that like, got like that got the same hairstyle. We, well, yeah. well, you know, I, I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> or the same kind of car, clothes, yeah. tennis shoes, so-and-so. Yeah. We're looking for friends outside. God said, that's not how, that's not how I do. Yeah. 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 He says, I want you to start seeking some friends that love me first. Right. See, 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 and I like what, what the young lady said. The young lady said, let me tell you, something. I realized one thing. I, I was wearing myself out. Mm. And I realized that I forgot to do what's first. Yeah. Right. Yeah, see, yeah. I just didn't open the scripture, she said. Mm -hmm. I didn't go to a course. She said, I spent some time with God. Spending time with those that are like-minded going to be some sacrifice. It ain't going to happen between 11.30 and 12.30 in the afternoon, mother. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen at 1 a.m. and 2 a.m. in the morning yeah. when the enemy wearing you out. Yeah. That's right. 
And a friend is going to be there for you. Yeah. See, the enemy will say, don't wake them up. The spirit said they're already up. They've been praying for you the whole time. Call them. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. See, we want friends like that. Come on. My, when I was growing up, my mother said, well, don't come to the fair weather friends. Y'all know what a fair weather friend is. Yeah. A fair weather friend is as long as they get some from you, they're your friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fair weather. In other words, when it's sunny, young people, you're going to have a whole lot of friends. Mm -hmm. When you got new shoes, you're going to have a whole lot of friends. When you, when you got a little money, lunch, you're going to have a whole lot of friends. But when you're broke. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. 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 When, 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 you, when you, you ain't going to have no friends there. So he's telling us here, he says, don't forsake the assembly. Mm -hmm. He says what? Of ourselves together. He says, as, as the, in the matter of some, but exhorting one another. And I'm going to share some with you. And I like my sister, what she said about you know, the women, and, and it applies to the men too, it's applicable to the men. He says, look, we don't know how to encourage one another. Mm. Not, not in the faith. We, we don't. And the reason why I don't know how to encourage one another, because I'm not encouraged. Encourage myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the brother gave the testimony, I thank God for him. He said, he said, I thank God God used him, because he had, he, he had the Spirit of God preaching in the office before I got out here. Because he says, the guy asked him a question. Listen to me. That guy's going, what's wrong? And we are what? We always fall back. Default to what? Yeah. Good. I'm good. good. But thank God for that man. Thank God for the spirit of God. The spirit of God said, no, you're not good. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Uh -huh. And some of us are not good. That's right. But won't tell the truth. You know why? Because we're afraid or care about what other people what think. Other people I'd rather stay in my bondage and tell the truth about what I am. Let me tell you something. It's showing up on That's me. That's right. You, you, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, holy. Let me tell you something, holy people of God. When the Spirit of God with you in you, you ain't one way one day, another day next. I can promise you that. That's right. That's right. That, 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 no, you ain't. You ain't fair weather. Mm -hmm. You may go some stuff, but you ain't gonna be flipping on people every every. You know that ain't how we live. That's right. Amen. That's he right. says you gotta understand, and when you start experiencing that, you gotta start coming around people as what that can encourage you. you. They have the same what spirit. See, not just words. Antoine, see, because that's what we caught up on. We caught up on words. Mm. God says those that have, he says that those that have the same what? Spirit. Mm. See, it's different. See, it won't take me 25 minutes to tell you that God believes in you. Mm -hmm. It just takes one word from the Lord. Yes, right. And the one word he's telling somebody right now is, you can make it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pastor, that's three. Well, okay. <laughs> and that's actually four. four. <laughs> so he tells us here, the first thing that we must do when we start feeling weary, is to do what? Don't forsake the assembly. Mm -hmm. Let us hold fast the confession of our faith without worry for who he promises what? Faithful? He says, and let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works. And when, when we're talking about an assembly of saints of God, Nairi, he says, stir up one another to what? Good works. Good works. Mm -hmm. See, I'm talking about that friend again. A friend of mine, if they're a friend, Good works ain't cursing nobody out. That's right. Yeah, that's good right. works ain't talking about folks. Mm -hmm. Good works ain't doing this. That ain't good works. Right. Good works is doing what God has told you to do. Mm -hmm. He says, you got to be around people that are going to stir you up to do a good works. Mm -hmm. but let me tell you something. You won't be held accountable if you don't go where accountability is at. Yeah. 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 That's right. That's right. I know y'all won't say that's that. Right. That's right. I know y'all won't say amen. Right. Come on, then these days ain't going to say amen. You know why? Because it's going to cause them to do what? Do what? Do an assessment an or an inventory <laughs> on the people that they're hanging with. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Don't you know how hard life is? Yeah. Why do I need to be around somebody that's, that's in, the, in the pit with me? Mm -hmm. I need somebody encouraging me day to day like, hey, brother, how you doing? Man, I'm not doing it. Come on, let me share what the Lord said. That's right. Lord said. Right. Let me tell you what the Lord said, not what I said. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Next thing he tells us that not to stop, that don't stop doing is studying God's word. Mm -hmm. Don't stop doing studying God's word. When I'm going through my my weary season, don't stop studying what. God's See, word. first thing he tells me is to come back and get encouraged. The, I'm gonna take the, the I'm gonna call her baby. She's gonna get mad. But the baby said it already. The baby said I spent time in God's word. Mm -hmm. I started to read the word of God. Go to Psalms 119 and 11. Psalms 119 and 11. Look what it says. Your word have I hidden in my heart that I might not do what? Sin against you. I'm studying the word of God. He says because when the time comes that I become weary, Lawanda, from doing good, 
I got a decision to make. Because yeah. there's some words going on in my mind right now yeah. that's causing me and telling me that when I'm going through some, when I'm getting weary from doing good, don't you know how easy it is for us to just go back to what we used to do? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it easy? Yeah. Come on, don't, don't you know it's easy? God delivered me from cursing, but as soon as somebody cut me off, it's so easy for me to do what? Curse. Go back to it? He says, you know why? Because you don't have no word That's right. in there. Oh. Come on now. Oh, man. Say it. Yeah, listen to me. He said, that's the reason why those words flow from your mouth so easy, because you don't have, that's the only word that you know. Yeah. He said, when you start studying my word, the Holy Spirit take that word you're about to say, keep that captain and give you something else. Mm -hmm. You know, we've been there, haven't we? Mm -hmm. yes, yes, we have. Yes, we have. He says, he says, your word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. He says, when the comfort and hope we once knew is nowhere to be found, we get tempted to quit doing what? Studying God's word. And we start looking elsewhere. That's what they said, to feed our feelings. When it gets tough, when I get tired of doing what, when I get weary from doing what's right, when everybody's doing wrong, I, I kind of like want to go back and do what I want to do. And he says, while all alone neglecting our spiritual growth, it's been said that if we read the word of God with faith, then it begins to read us. Yeah. Yeah. That's huh? Right. That's right. That's right. That, that's not. That's not deep. When we start, when we start begin begin the word of God, reading the word of God in faith. Guess what? The word start to read us. That's what he says in Psalm one nineteen eleven. He says, "Guess what? The word of God start reading us. Start saying, guess what, Ralph? Don't say that. Yeah, right. You know you shouldn't be there. You know you shouldn't say that. He start reading your what? Your thoughts." Yeah. The word of God, the spirit of God, take that same word that you've been reading. And he start reading. You start saying, man, I, I, you, you, that's not you anymore. When we read it in faith, knowing that everything that, listen to me, people of God, everything that God has written, you believe it by faith. And you receive it by faith. Yeah. He says, and when we start reading, he says here, it says, the word of God starts to do what? Begin to read us. In other words, nothing is hidden. In God's outside. Yeah. You know how we try to cover stuff up? See, the word exposed that. Yeah. Don't you know the reason why when I start going through some stuff and getting weary, the one reason why I want to put the word of God, I don't know why I put it down, because I don't want no correction. That's right. Because yeah. you, you already know where it's at. It's in here. Yeah. Yeah. You already, so you start going to somebody else. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The mother quotes and stuff like that, all that little stuff that people got. Yeah. You start posting that stuff, but not the word of God, because yeah. it's making you feel good on, about what on, you're doing. But God says, no, 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 no. He says, look, you got to study my word. So, you, so I need to keep you in line to what's right. going on. That's Go right. to Hebrews 4 and 12. He'll back it up. Hebrews 4 and 12 says, for the word of God, this is Bible study. Why must I study the word of God? Why must I continue to study the word of God? For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even the what? The division of of soul and spirit and of joints and marrows and is a discern of the thoughts and intents of what? The heart. I'm trying to help somebody today. Continue to do good. Even if nobody else is doing good, you do good anyway. Why? Because the word of God let you know that guess what? What, what, what you're doing is, is going to work out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know you want to give up, but the word of God you've been studying is going to remind you that guess what? If God be for you. Right. Yeah, come on. But see, the spirit of God ain't gonna. The spirit of God's not gonna reveal anything to you that's not in you. Mm -hmm. See, if all I got is what's been posted on Facebook, hmm. come on, woo, come on. If the only, if the only stuff I got is what's been posted on social media, mm -hmm. if the only advice I get, if the only wisdom I get is what my so and so said, so and not what God said, I, I, I'm not gonna endure. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna give up. I'm gonna give in. Nothing about our own motives, our own desires, our own hearts is hidden from the word of God. Y'all believe that? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. So God already knows. Yeah. And so even in the times that you and I feel like giving up and doing good, God says, I know. He's, this is what he says, Caleb. He says, I know you feel like giving up. Yes, sir. You had to tell nobody. That's right. That's right. I already know. Yes, hey, I want to talk to you, but I already know. Because I know everything. Now, what you going to do? You going to go and talk to, or you going to come talk to me? That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. You going to go talk to, because people will tell you, well, you come talk to me. No, you going to talk to God. Uh, yeah. And if God leads you to come talk to me, then he going to already let me know what you're going through. I ain't know. I don't care about all that. Yeah. I, can tell, I can say right now, man, y'all struggling with some stuff. Y'all really struggling. Y'all be like, yeah, oh, he power, he prophet. No, we all struggling with some stuff. Right. 
He says, but, but he says, but whatever you whatever you struggle, he says, come to me. Go in my word. And I'll let you know, guess what? That you're able to do what? Overcome because I've overcame mm -hmm. for you. It says in Jeremiah 15 and 16, look what he says in Jeremiah. Y'all go to Jeremiah 15 and 16. I'm, I'm talking about don't stop studying God's word. We talk about he, Psalms 119 and 11, Hebrews 4 and 12. Don't worry about it. I didn't put it in there because I, I, I didn't think I was going to have time, but they got their Bibles. Jeremiah 15 and 16 says, your words were found and I ate them. Mm -hmm. Come on now. That's what y'all right. eating? Yeah. What you eating? Yeah, what you eating when you get weary? What am I eating when we get weary? Are we eating the words of what? A philosopher? Mm -hmm. A theologian? My horoscope? Mm -hmm. Am I reading? Am I eating the words of you know the stars and the moons? Am I reading the read eating from the Western philosophy? Am I eating from my ancestors? Am I eating? What am I eating from? Come on, come on. Jeremiah said it like this. He says, your words were found. He says, and I ate them. Look what he said. I ate them. How did he eat them? He wasn't chewing on no Bible. <laughs> he, everything that he saw, he received. Yeah, yeah. He swallowed the word. He says, he says, and your word was to me the joy and what? And rejoicing of my heart. That's what the young girl, just the young lady just said. My niece just said. She said, after I studied the word, guess what God's word did to me? It brought me joy in the midst of my weariness. It brought me hope in the midst of my hope. God's word did it. It wasn't the, the man, the woman, the God. It was his word that did it. Yes. Thank you, Lord. He said, for I am called by your name, O Lord God of hosts. He says, in those times that we find ourselves being weary, we not only uh, forsake, not forsake the assembly of the saints, but we study God's word. We not only study God's word, nephew, we meditate on God's word. We not only meditate on God's word, we listen to God's word. And Jeremiah said, we only listen, we only listen to it, but we guess what? We eat it up. You're eating. You're not at form of doing all this. God said, when in the church we gonna start doing this? Come on. Come on. Stop eating from everybody else's dish. Because it sounds good and make you feel good. You better watch out. Yeah. God says, you're my child, you're my children, and I've given you my word. He tells us here, it fills our minds with truth that serves as a defender and shield to block out the lies of the enemy when I'm eating God's word. Although the enemy wants me and desires me to fall, Brother Ralph, guess what God's word reminds me? That I am a royal priesthood. All right. That I'm no longer my past. Yeah. See, let me share something with you. Let me share something with you. I don't care what people say about you mm -hmm. or your physical attributes mm -hmm. or lack thereof. You better see what God says about you. See, the reason why I'm always fighting and responding negatively because I don't know who I am. Amen. Hmm. Say it. Once you know who you are, you don't respond to all that other foolishness. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you something, niece. It don't mean the thought ain't going to happen. Mm -hmm. But by me studying and eating God's word, he reminds me of who I am. See, the reason why I respond the way that I respond because I don't really know who I am. So I need, first of all, my brothers and sisters to remind me of, guess what? Who your parents do the same thing. When you go out there making the bad decision, your parents say, what? I taught you better than me. Right, right. Amen. That's right. Don't you say that? Everybody say, amen. And God said the same thing to you. To us. Mm -hmm. To us. What you doing that for? I taught you better than that. Yeah. The second thing he tells me to do what? He said, now I taught you better. Yeah, I know you did. Now you need to go back and learn what I taught you. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how I go, I love books. And people already know me know I'm a reader. I read, I read. I don't read everything. But I, I love to read. And, 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 and I got books that people that discarded. I don't know if she remembered this. Mother Hall, she remembered. She gave me some books about, what, about four years ago? Four years ago. About four or five years ago. And I got them books, and I looked at them books, I said, wow. And I put them books in a box. And I said, it's a whole lot in these books. Mm -hmm. It's a whole lot in it. Because, see, it was passed down to her. Mm -hmm. It wasn't nothing that just popped up on Wikipedia yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Google. Yeah. It was something that has been what? Tried, mm -hmm. tested, and proven. Mm -hmm. That's why we as people of God must not Straight, steer away from reading God's word. No matter what other, other, anybody else, anybody else, you know, you got a lot of people endorsing books now, Antoine. Mm -hmm. Right in the house of God. That's a good author. No. Mm -hmm. 
You better, you better have something. To, you better have a foundation. That's right. That's right. That's right. So the first thing that we do, we we don't do what we we must continue to do what, not forsake the assembly. The second thing that we must do when we feel ourselves going weary is to do what? Don't stop don't studying God's word. And y'all, somebody said this today. And the third thing we must do is don't stop asking for help. Mm -hmm. Don't stop asking for help. He says, when I'm going through, he said, don't stop asking for help. That's right. Asking for help is hard, amen? It is. Yeah. It is. Many prefer in times of suffering or struggle is to bear down and pretend everything is what? Okay. Fine. Oh. Yeah. They isolate themselves, they throw themselves a pity party, a blame party. And then finally it falls apart to whoever is unfortunate enough to ask them at that moment, what's, what's wrong, wrong with you? <laughs> if we learn to do what? Ask for help when it's a baby, when it's a seed. Yeah. 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 We're able to be honest because we just said in the first thing and first and, and the first step is to forsake the assembly. So I'm not asking for help from anybody. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. I'm not asking for help from just anybody, Antoine. I'm going to ask help from someone that has the same spirit that I have. Mm -hmm. And it says here that we have this pity party. We start blaming one another. It says, and then all of a sudden, guess what? It falls apart. Yeah. And you know what, that, what, what spirit is connected at for us not asking for help? Y'all ready? Thank you. It's pride. See, pride will not allow you to ask for help when you're suffering. Pride will argue with you and tell you, Jonathan, that you can handle this on your own. Did he not just say that? He said, the enemy told me this way. But pride said, you don't need that. You don't need anybody. When I'm, do, when I'm weary from doing good, he says, look, I need to ask for help. You are not as strong as you think you are. My sister, my little sister, she ain't the first person I tell. I tell that to everybody God revealed it to me. But she the one that caught it with what? Two hands. Somebody's still trying to Odell Beckham this thing. Yeah. You better catch him with two hands and bring that in. He said, until you admit that, guess what? I'm too strong for God, you're going to continue to struggle. Yeah. And you mad at me. But don't be mad at me. You be mad at the person. You need to go ahead because you ain't going to get mad at God on you. <laughs> but pride will do what? Listen to me, people of God. Pride will do what? Not allow you to ask for help. Amen. It says here that resist that voice and that lie. If we continue to allow those thoughts to rule us, then hopelessness and despair will seem that it, will, it has won. And so guess what we do? We give up. Yeah. Anybody there right now? See, on the outside, you, you look good. But I, I shared this with my brother one time, and, and I, I think he understands it now. God gives me the gift to see spiritually. Amen. And God has given you another chance today. Amen. To ask for help. That's right. That's right. But see, you want to get the help from the people you want to get it from. Mm. Hold, hold on, hold on. You want to get the help from the people that you want to get it from, right? But God tells you you need to get the help from step one. Yeah. Those who are what like minded. That's right. See, the reason why I'm still what weary and I want to give up is because I've been getting some help. Ask your help for some yeah, people yeah. outside of the that's faith. Right. And they're making right. me feel good. See, outside the faith always give you something that's going to make you feel good. That's why they tell you smoke a little, drink of this, meditate on this, do this, wear this around, burn this, all this other stuff. And God said, all I'm telling you is come to me. That's it. Just come and surrender. So he tells us we, can't, we cannot stop asking for help. One practical way to not give up is to seek out wise counselors. Who are convinced that God's word is sufficient. That's what Minister James just said. He says, one thing we do, we should just ask for anybody help. Don't, don't you know, Brother Raphael, don't you know that there's some outside in the world, there's some people that prefer to see you go down the three yes. the third time? Yes. Yes. But God says, in your time of suffering, in your time of feeling weary from doing good, he said, you got to seek some wise counsel. You got to seek someone that's going to give you what you need. It says here that one practical way to not give up is to seek out wise counselors who are convinced that God's word is sufficient for every issue we may face during our times of suffering. And let me turn, let me tell you something, God's word is enough. Yeah. I, I know we like the people, we want to fall into people that like to tell stories, you know. Got all these what? Metaphors and all these what? Good stories to make you feel good. You know what I'm saying? You know how we find them people who never really touch me. But was it the word of God? God said, I don't just want to touch you. Yeah. I want to deliver you from it. Right. That's right. That's right. 
And so we find ourselves going after these, these, these leaders that's giving us these little nice quotes and these nice things make you feel good. Oh, I feel like so. God said, I don't want you. I, don't, uh -uh. I want to deliver you. That's right. That's right. That's right. He says, so you got to realize, you got to ask help from the right person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, it's hard for me, people of God, to find myself drowning in the, in the sea and asking a farmer for help when a lifeguard is sitting there in a chair. Come on. Come on. If I'm drowning and a lifeguard is there, I'm not going to ask the taxi cab driver to come save me. I'm not going to hope that he know how to swim. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going for what's sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And God says, look, let me tell you something. In asking for help, you need to start asking for those that has been what? That have been tested. That's sure. God says, let me tell you something. I'll put them right there Hallelujah. for you. Yes, now, let me tell you something. They may, look, they may not look like. All right. Come on, come All on, right. come on. They, they may not look like they are, they are you know what? They may not look like they, are, they don't mock anything, mommy. Because, you know, we always look at people from the outside. outside. Mm -hmm. they, he said, they may not look like nothing. He said, but look, I don't deal with the outward man. I deal with the inward man. Mm -hmm. See, the reason why I find myself giving up in those times because I'm looking at somebody that looks successful. <laughs> I'm, looking, I'm looking at somebody that looked like they made it through. And, and he said, instead of doing what? Asking God, God, who to show me who, who can deal with what? The, the brother gave his testimony. He said, this brother told, he gave y'all the, 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 the mini version. But the extended play is, he gave him some examples mm -hmm. of some people that's been through the same thing that he been through. Don't you know when God starts sending you people, that they're going to they gonna say, well, this they're going to say, let me tell you what God did to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, listen to me. Yeah. They're going to pull no story out of the sky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're going to tell you, look, this is, and you're going to be like, really, you too? Because they're not going to be ashamed to tell what God has delivered them from. Because God has delivered them from you. Amen. See, we get help from people that's almost delivered. <laughs> Come on, listen to me. We get help from people that's almost delivered. Did God deliver you from that addiction? Well, almost. My God. He working on me. Well, now I don't need to be talking to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. now y'all better get this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You better get this. I'm telling you. God, look, the flesh will have you dealing with folks that's almost free. Mm -hmm. And tell you, well, it ain't matter to me. Only God can judge me. Mm -hmm. And we know that back in the day. That ain't God. That's who? That's Tupac. Tupac. <laughs> so he's telling us, he said, look, you can't be dealing with people that's, that's almost oh, delivered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you know the reason why we're so moved on every hand, mind? Because we mess with folks that's almost delivered. Mm -hmm. When are we going to start talking to somebody that's freely delivered? Yeah, yeah. God says, I want to show you something. Guess what? No matter what you and I are going through in the times of doing what's right. I'm talking about not doing wrong. Doing what's right. You guys going to say, look, I'm going to send somebody your way that's what? That has been delivered from what you're going through. Don't you want somebody to know? Don't you want to talk to someone that's been delivered? Yeah. Yeah. And not almost. Mm -hmm. And so he tells us here in the scripture that God wants to help each other. God wants us to help each other in times of struggle and sin. Go to Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians 4, 11 through 16. What, 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 what did I just say? The point three was what? Don't stop asking for help. That God gives what? He gives what? Wise counsel. Wise counsel. Look, look what he says in Ephesians 4, in verse 11. And himself gave some to be what? Apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors, and what? And some teachers. Amen? Look what he says. He says, now, 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 I'm going to mess somebody up. Hold on. Y'all going to log off. He ain't say nothing about no musicians, uh -uh. no motivational speakers, yeah. Yeah. no this, that, and the other, no somebody. But he said, I've given these people this charge. Yes. Yeah. Yes. These are the ones that I've given. Because yeah. I can be a motivational speaker hmm. and not be delivered. That's right. Yeah. Come on. Because what I'm motivating is your flesh. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. All right. Oh, that's a good motive. But did it call, did it convict you to change? Mm -hmm. Come on. It didn't say that he called a life coach. Mm -hmm. Huh? That's good. The scripture says. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I gave some apostles, they are gone. Yeah. Prophets, they fulfilled that purpose. That's right. Yeah. I know, I know. Somebody mad in law. Right. Uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Some evangelists, some pastors and teachers. He says, guess what I gave them for? Yes. For the equipping of what? The, the saints. For the work of what? Ministry. For the edifying of what? The body, the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. 
Go ahead. Till we all come into what? Unity. The unity of the faith yeah. and of the knowledge of the what? Son of God. God to a perfect man to the measure of stature of the fullness of what? Christ. Christ. That we should no longer be what? Children. Children moved by my what? Emotions yes. and my feelings and my circumstances. He says that we should not be tossed to and fro and cared about with every wind of what? Right. You better watch who you get advice yeah, 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 from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 God can use anybody. Mm -hmm. God gonna use those that's gonna speak His word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you something. My last point. Yeah, God can use everybody. He can use anybody for your deliverance or for your bondage. Amen. He can use anybody. I disagree, Pastor Pharaoh. Come on, come on. Come on. Can you testify here? Come on. Yeah. Pharaoh, can you testify? I can. Can yes. you hear? <laughs> God used me to enslave the Israelites, yes, right. put them in bondage. God used me yeah. that they may understand mm -hmm. who they serve. Yes. Yes. Right. Oh, yes, God can use anybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He says, you better be careful. He says, till we all come to the unity of the faith, he says, in the knowledge of the Son of God, to a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of fullness of Christ, that we should no longer be what? Children. Mm -hmm. Toss what? To and fro and carried about with what? Every wind of doctrine. Look what he says. By the trickery of men and the cunning craftiness of deceitful plot. He says, look, but speaking the truth where? What truth? God's truth. It's the love letters, people of God. This is what we're supposed to be. This is what the teachers and the preachers and the pastors are teaching. Yeah. He says, but there's some trickery people out there. Don't you know that's what happened in the garden? Yeah. Yeah. That's why I said Satan was cunning. Yeah. You see the scripture? Right. Did God really say that? Tricking you. I told you the reason why we always succumb to stuff because we easy. Yeah. Don't nobody want an easy woman. No. And don't nobody want an easy man either. Yeah. Yeah. And God don't want no easy believer. Yeah. Yeah. We got to make our mind up that guess what? I'm going to stand. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. I'm going to stand. Stand. He said, from whom the whole body is what? Joined. Joined together. Let's go to 15. But speaking the truth in love, we may grow up. Anybody need to grow up? Yeah, yeah. Come on now. Don't you know when I feel like giving up and my time of doing good, I want to quit? Somebody, wouldn't it mess you up, Luana? Somebody say, you just need to grow up. You'll get mad with me. <laughs> to me, bro, you don't know what I've been through. So let me tell you something. <laughs> what I'm saying is, you need to grow up where? In Christ. Right. I need to let you know that the same sufferings that happened to you happened to those that, be, that came before us and happened to our Lord and Savior. Mm. Right. I, I don't want you to grow up in the way that you want me to. I want you to grow up in his word. That's what the need, that's what the young lady said. He says, look, that we may grow up in all things and to him who is what? The head, which is Christ. Wrap it up. From whom the whole body joined and knit together by what every joint what? Supply. Now go back to first. The, the first step was we come together because guess what? We all need one another. That's right. That's right. Let me tell you something. I thank God I'm blessed. Let me tell you something. I'm blessed. You know why I'm blessed? Because I've been some places. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've been a part of some places where we come into the house of God and they talk about everything but God. Mm -hmm. I've been to some places yeah. where they're more concerned about what, who playing sports. I've been to some places where they're concerned about what we're going to eat, who, who got on this, who got on that, what the musician played. What the, I've been to some places where it was always about everything else but God. So when I came to my brothers and sisters in time of need, they started, they overlooked what I was going That's through right, and yeah. tried to give me something, some mm -hmm. sugar. Come on, come on, come on. I don't need a song from the praise team late yeah. in the midnight hour. Yeah. The song may lead me to some place, but it better lead me to the word of God. Yes. Right. Yes, it can sustain me until when I get to his word. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. Yeah. He says, look, he says that every joint supplies according to the effect of working by which what? Every part does is what? Share. Let me wrap up right quick. People of God, everybody is needed in the yeah. house of God. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Get back into his house yeah. and do your part. Hallelujah. You can't help me. Look, I'm going through some stuff and God said, look, I've called you to help him because you've been through it. I'm talking about to some pastors. You know who, you talk, who I'm talking to. You don't do it in time. God didn't tell you to retire. Hallelujah. It got tough and you gave up. But God says, I allowed you to go through that so you can help Pastor Mark because he just began. Yes, yes, sir. Lord. Yes, sir. Get yes, back Lord. into the house and do your job. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Play your part. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Play your part because it ain't over until.
what God said. Yeah. 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 That's right. You yeah. call your own. Yeah. Play your part. He says, because guess what, Sire? You are necessary. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Heaven, you're necessary. Yeah. See, let me tell you something. Anybody, I'm done. Anybody ever sat too long? We're going to stop on number four. We got more, but I'm going to stop because I'm going to keep my word. Anybody ever sat down too long? Yes, sir. And what happened when you sit down too long? Yeah. Or what else happened? Say, somebody would say your foot get what? Fall asleep, don't it? Let me tell you something. Listen to me, people of God. Listen to me, Denise. Some of us been sitting too long. And guess what happened? Our member has fallen asleep. And have you ever tried to get up when your foot is asleep? I'm talking about the foot. And God says, I've given you, I told you, you a foot, Nairi. And cuz you up here sleeping, she ain't sleeping. I'm just using her as a analogy. She, I'm gonna get her pants. She ain't sleeping, parents. Look at her dad walking and looking. No, no. She ain't sleep. But you have listen to me. He says, look, look at verse 16. From whom the whole body joined and knit together by what every joint supplies according to the effect of working by which every part does its share, causing growth of the body for the edifying of itself. Anybody ever fell asleep? Your foot fall asleep. Mm -hmm. You just don't get up and start walking, do you? No. What do you have to do? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Listen to me, people of God. He said, because that member yeah, yeah, yeah. is necessary, it's necessary for this body to function. Right. Right. And some of us are sitting at home. That's right. right. Some of us are sleeping at home, sleeping in church. And guess what? God said, I want the body to go down there. Mm -hmm. And guess what? I gotta wait till you wake up. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. I want to wake you up today. And you know when, when you're waking the foot, foot, foot up, you can't just start off right away. Cause you know, cause that, come on, we got to do what? So guess what God is telling the church today? I'm done. God said, stop writing them people off. Yes, sir. Stop writing them off. I know they're staying at home. Stop writing them off. Because you need them. Stop writing them off. Stop talking about you done fell away. No, they just sleep. And when they come back, wait till they wake up. And walk real slow with them. Don't talk. Come on, let's go. Say, take slow. Because if you walk too fast, you're going to fall. That's right. Let me tell you, I'm going to help somebody. Mm -hmm. He says, I know they're they gone. Don't write them off. Right. They just sleep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said, you continue to praise and worship. He said, until I do what? I wake them up. Mm -hmm. He said, and then when they come back, don't rush them. Mm -hmm. right. He said, just let them get ready for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, don't move out without them. He says, because guess what? It's necessary. Mm -hmm for that foot to be a part of that body. So in my times that I'm weary for doing what's right, the first thing I do is I come back to the house. Because I know, as we say, the enemy isolates before he assassinates. Then the second thing I must do is I must study God's word. See, because once I get amongst the brothers and sisters, they're gonna encourage me to do what? Go back to the scripture. See, I know we find ourselves Fellowship with people that don't fear God, don't know the word of God. So they give you what? I ain't going to say nobody's name. Because I ain't going to give them no type of. But they giving you some these books to read. And it's doing something to your flesh. But he said, let me tell you something. You better get back to those that you can touch, feel, and hear from. He says, and then after you study God's word, he said, the next step you must do what? Stop Don't stop asking for help. Mm -hmm. Somebody right there. It's deliverance time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Let me tell you something. It's deliverance time. The reason why I'm still struggling, because I don't want I want to ask oh, for help. Right. And that's what the sister just said. Pride will not allow me to ask that's for help. Right. That's right. Guess what pride will do? Pride will say, you got this. Exactly. And what happens is you upset because the body ain't paying you no attention. Mm -hmm. You know what's wrong? Because you have moved yourself from the, the body is here. Come on. And you're saying, you they should there. be calling me. <laughs> Hold on for a minute. No, you should be calling them. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm done. Hallelujah. I'm done. No. I'm done. Come on, Trip. I'm done. I'm done. Thank you, I'm done. Thank you, I'm done. You're talking about they should be calling you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Make your request known. Say what's going on. Mm. That's right. Mm. If any of you sick among you, Come on, call for it. <laughs> let the elders call you. Mm. No, yes, no, it says no, no. call for the elders. Yes, sir. Of the church. Yes, sir. Of the church. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. Now you call for them. They ain't supposed to be calling you. Come yes, on, Jesus. Sir. Come on. Tell me to sit down, Deacon Hall, before the Lord gets. Because he said, look, <laughs> you're thinking, you're thinking because you don't pay some tithes and offerings. They owe you service. Come on, you can't pay for this. Yes, sir. Give from the Lord. Praise God. Come on, Pastor. They don't owe you because you're giving fifty thousand dollars a year to the offering time. Yeah. No, you're trying to buy your way. We know what happened when you're trying to try to buy God. That's right. 
That's right. He says, if anyone you sit, call for the elders. Mm -hmm. And let them do what? Come and lay hands on them. Call true. for them. Let me tell you something. Ask for help, people of God. Yeah. yeah. And then the fourth point was this. After I ask for help, what must I do? Hold tight. To God's promises. Hallelujah. Right. Uh, Hallelujah. Uh, about uh, yes, Lord. Uh, yes, sir. Hold tight to do what? To God's promises. Can I give y'all one more scripture? Yes, I promise, sir. Mother Hall. I'm ready. She's smiling, so I know she's eating. Yes. <laughs> uh, let me tell you. Hold tight. Hold tight to do what? To God's uh, promises. Hold what? Uh, hold tight. Listen, listen to me, Shayla. Uh, Kayla. Shayla, listen to me. <laughs> Kayla, look what he said. Listen to me, Chrissy. He says, I want you to hold tight. So when I get weary, yeah. I know what everybody else is telling me. I know it. He says, but well, look, what did God, because we talk about that in Sunday school. Yeah. God gave David a what? Promise. A promise. That's right. And what is, what is the promise God has given you? Go to 2 Corinthians chapter 4. And I, I promise you, this is it. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17 and 18. Look what he says. Look what he says. Look what he says. Woo he says, for our light affliction, which is but for what? A moment. He said, it's working for us a far more exceeding eternal weight of glory. Come on. While we do not look at the things which are seen, uh -huh. but at the things which are what? Not, not seen. seen. For the things which are seen are what? Temporary. Temporary. But the things which are not seen are what? Eternal. Eternal. And what promise God has made to, for his children that hold on and continue yes. to do good in their weary time. Uh -huh. He tells us in the scripture that guess what? I'm going to prepare a place for you. Yeah. Uh -huh. That where I am, you may be also. Yes, Lord. In my father's house. Yes. There are many mansions. Thank he you. said, I would never have told you if it weren't true. Thank he you. said, so though I may be going through a little bit right now, a little light affliction. He said, light. Now, that may be heavy to you. But you know what? Come on, let me tell you something, Minister Coleman. It may be heavy to you, but guess what? To God, that's light work. That's, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. What you're going through right now may seem heavy to you, but when you get amongst the believers, yeah, yeah. they'll let you know, man. Let me tell you something. That ain't nothing. That's what Fred said. That ain't nothing. Talking about a problem. That ain't nothing. Yes, sir. Nothing's too hard for God. That's light work. Yeah. Give God what you call heavy. He look at it light work. Yeah. Yes, sir. What you say? Handle work. Don't we say that when somebody say that? Yeah. Yeah. Anybody, y'all, y'all fighters in here, y'all, y'all fighters. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all fighters got to lift y'all from fighting. Yeah, fighting. It's, 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 it's some competition, Hammer, that you don't even waste your time with. No. Come here, Zebion. Uh -uh. It's some competition you're into. Him threatening me, don't come cause me. Him threatening me, don't even move me not one bit. He can threaten me all day long. He ain't threatening me. Come inside. Do me a favor. Handle my life. So when the enemy is coming against us, when the enemy is coming against us, when the enemy is attacking our minds, when the enemy is attacking the, what God has placed in our lives, we're doing good. Now let me tell you something. He says, be not weary, doing good. So doing what God is telling you to do. Yeah. And when everybody else has abandoned you, when everybody has said all these things about you, that you're no good, I've been on that bench. Trust me. Mm -hmm. And you know what? After I went to God, went to the people of God, got in the word of God, started eating God's word, met that God said, let me tell you something. That's light to me. Mm -hmm. He says, because I made you a promise. And I'm letting you know that, guess what? It may affect you. It may move you to the left and right. It may cause you to want to give up. But I'm letting you know that's light work for me. Yeah. Amen. But it only, becomes, it only becomes light when you give it to me. That's right. That's the thing. I know you love mother, but she can't handle what you're going through. That's right. I know you love Minister James, but he can't handle what you're going through. I know you love Minister Coleman and heaven, but they can't handle what you're going through. That's why I told you from the beginning, come unto me. All of you that are weary and heavy laden. He says, and guess what I'll do? I'll give you rest. For there's no opponent out there more powerful than me. There's no addiction out there that I can't free you from. There's no hurt out there that I can't heal you from. And there's no darkness that you're facing that I can't show light, shed light on. But you got to do what? Send for the elders. Come to me. Do you want to be delivered? Do you want to be set free? It's your decision. Don't worry about what everybody else is saying and doing. This is about you. And when you're free, I'll teach you how to 
free some free other people. Else. And you ain't almost free when you surrender unto me in faith. Mm -hmm. For the word of God says whom the son is set free. free Anybody free indeed in the house. Thank you, Jesus. So remind, remind yourself of that when that start coming against you. Right. When you uh, come against you. I'm free indeed. 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 That's what my man said, right? right. Indeed. <laughs> Let us pray. Let us pray. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for reminding us, Lord God, of the things that we must do, Lord God, when we find ourselves being weary. I understand that the Apostle Paul wrote to the church of Galatia in those times where they were being tested and tempted to fall away from the faith and to go back to works and the law. And I also read, Lord God, that in your word that there's going to come a point in our lives, just that it happened to the church back then, that people will exclude us because we're standing. They don't want to have fellowship with us. They don't want to talk to us anymore because we're standing for doing good. But you show me in your word, Father God, that although they exclude us, the reason why they exclude us is because they want us to want what they have. But when we have everything in you, we don't need nothing else. Thank you. So whatever they're trying to exclude us from or hold back from us, Father God, you told us, Lord God, that you have everything that we need. And the most important thing that we need right now for those who are lost is salvation. The word of God says, if we confess Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, then we will be saved. And we're sealed. And we have eternal hope, glory, protection, provision. So Father God, I pray for that soul today, right now, right now. Hmm was experiencing some exclusion. They, they want to belong to things and people and places. Remind them today, Lord God, that you've already accepted them. And even though they're being excluded, Lord God, I pray that they would understand today that you've given us several steps on what we must do when we're doing what's right and being excluded for doing what's right. When that weight gets so heavy upon the pastor for standing, for the sister, for the men and women of God for standing, you told us that we need to do what? Forsake not ourselves, the assembly. Let's get back to the house of God, to the people of God. And then we must study your word. We must study your word, Father God. And then you also remind us that even in those times, we should not stop asking for help. And not just any help, Lord God, but divine help. For you showed us in your word in Ephesians that you've given us these people to encourage us and to build us up to a holy faith. And while we're still waiting, Lord God, you told us in your word that we must hold tight to your promises. And I want to share with someone today that you made us a promise that you will never leave us nor forsake us. And whatever that soul needs right now, I pray and ask that your spirit will bring back your word to them and they will eat it until the promise is fulfilled. Thank you for this time. Thank you for order. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. In Jesus Christ's holy name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise God. God is good and God is faithful. Prepare our hearts and minds for offering. Amen. And, and, and after that, we have.